Won't you buy my nice fresh ivy? For over 100 years, members of the McPeak family have traveled the world performing their music. But every Christmas, they return home. And on one special night, they gather to swap stories, songs, and poems of the supernatural. Stars were paling, wailing round the lonely spring. Thus she cried while tears were falling, calling on the fairy king. Why with spells my child caressing, courting him with fairy joy? Why destroy a mother's blessing, wherefore steal my baby boy? O'er the mountain through the wild Flowers are freshly springing. There I wander day by day. There I wander, growing fonder on the child and meet my joy. Places named after local legends, such as the Bone Muller and the Old Crone of Shadows. Well, this is a story about something ancient like that. This is a story about the Crawling Witch. Out in the country, there lived a wee boy called Owen, and he lived on a farm with his mother and father. In the summertime he would go out and play in the fields nearby, and in one in particular, near an old stone monument. But our story really begins quite a few years later, in the same old farm. Oh, nothing, dear, nothing, how did you get there, under my bed and beneath the stair? But you're not the nothing I see by day, no, you're the nothing with plenty to say. For you're the nothing who whispers and calls, and you come a-calling when darkness falls. And you're the nothing in the fog-covered lane, and each night I shiver, for you're there again. 
Will you answer my questions? The man was asked. And he moved the glass and gave a sign for yes. Did you know the boy Owen? Yes. Do you know what happened to him? Tell me. to him. Tell me. Well, a local boy had taken all to see a place the locals all told stories about. A place called the Grave of the Crawling Witch. Then he played a tape that Owen had recorded and on it, the child said, that the night after they went to the monument, he had a nightmare. And in the nightmare, he was playing in the fields nearby, but something had come crawling after him and it came to take him away. But what finally wakened him was something breathing in the dark. But by the time his father had looked in on him, the boy was gone. But Owen wasn't the only child, was he? He had a brother, didn't he? Were you his brother? Is Owen still here? What did you do? Tell me. The world seems so silent, now nothing is said, and my thoughts turn to nothing as I lay in my bed. In the dark of the room, I feel nothing gather round, so I look to see nothing, and nothing is found. Oh nothing, dear nothing, have you come for me, for now your nothing is all I can see. Will there be nothing at the break of day? Shall I be nothing? No one can say. <laughs> 